Good morning. My name is Leanne Statham Bell, and Kevin Bell is my husband. I never thought on October 7, 2014, that that would be the last day I saw my husband alive. When my husband left to go to work, it was a normal day for us. You know, our daily routine would be to speak to each other, to check in a couple of times a day. And we did that that day. You know, I brought him coffee. Actually, my daughter brought him coffee that day. And when she left, he was so excited. He called and, you know, talked about how she was there. And we talked for a while and he just said, you know, I'll call you back at dinner time. That never happened. It just got so strange for me that I received a call saying, Kevin's been in a fire. You need to go to St. Francis Hospital. I didn't sleep around my daughter. We go to St. Francis Hospital and that was it. My husband's gone. No one knows anything but that he's gone. Our world crashed that day. Our lives have never been the same. Kevin loved his job as a Harvard firefighter. That's, he felt he made it. He felt his community made it when he got that job. I just, I don't know why my husband was left alone. I don't, I don't know why. I need to understand why he was by himself. He always said to me, it's two in, two out. How could he be alone? I don't understand it. My husband has missed so much in this last year. Our daughter is getting ready to have our first grandson. He won't be here to see him. Kevin would be over the moon for my grandson, and he won't be here. It's not right. It's not. It's not. Kevin should not not be here right now. Kevin should be with us. We should be home. We should be ready for our grandson, talking about what we're going to do. We had plans. I've been with this man for over 20 years. I know nothing but him. Where does that leave us? Where? It's not right. I need answers. Thank you. My name is Sean Bell. I'm Kevin Bell's brother. Eight minutes and three seconds. That's how long it took the scene commander to dispatch a rescue team into the burning building to locate my brother. for eight minutes and three seconds. My brother Kevin Bell was left behind, equipped with a poorly functioning oxygen tank and abandoned by his partner, Lieutenant John Morey, whose muffled faint made a call when unanswered or ignored. for eight minutes and three seconds. My brother, Kevin Bell, was essentially left to die. By the time he was pulled out of the building, it was too late. 
he had gone into cardiac arrest. It took the rescue team 30 seconds to find him. Here we are. The loss for our family, for us, is unbearable. My brother's death has left every family member feeling ripped apart on all sides and every corner. We miss him every single day, every hour, every minute. Kevin was more than just a fireman. He was a talented magician. He produced records, he produced artists, he did weddings, uh, parties. If you wanted a show DJ, Kevin Bell, AKA Cutmaster Bistro, the originator, was your guy. Thanksgiving was his favorite holiday. He was masterful on the grill. We used to laugh and have such a good time with them. Now with Thanksgiving a couple of weeks away, it's going to be hard to find much to be grateful for without Kevin. But we try. And we carry on because we have to for Kevin for his wife, for his daughter, for his mother, for his father, his aunts, his uncles, his brothers, his sisters, his cousins, and his future grandson. And this is why we're here today. We want justice. We want every single person who should be held accountable to be held accountable. We also want to know who started those vicious rumors that were spread within the department, inside and out, about my brother to insinuate that this was somehow his fault. Why the department administration did not take the steps to squash the rumors, which they knew were untrue. It was like killing him all over again. And it's dragging our family's name down. This is how they honor their fallen. The bottom line is this. Kevin Bell did not have to die October 7, 2014. Kevin Bell should not have died that day. Kevin Bell should be with us, his family, today, and join his life, and join his family, preparing for his new grandson. No one loved being a firefighter more than Kevin. We used to talk about it all the time. He went into that building willing to put his life on the line to save others. And if he could have gotten out, he would have. 